What's up guys, welcome to another video tutorial by The Coder. Okay, so today what we're going to be learning is how you can control your DualShock 4 controller, your PS4 controller, to your PC so you can play games through the controller. Now, there's a few things that we're going to need for this. Um, the first obvious important thing is a DualShock 4 controller. The next thing we're going to need is a piece of software called DS4 Windows. Now this software is just an emulator that tricks Windows 10 into believing that you're using a 360 controller. Now you can play pretty much any game on your computer with the controller as long as the key mappings are correct. Now most computers, most computer games allow you to set up the mapping of the controller to suit your needs so this shouldn't really be a problem. I've used this for Call of Duty, I've used it for old retro games run by emulators, I've run it for new games uh, So, and I've also run it as a computer mouse using the little scroll. Ok so we're going to go ahead and download the DS4 Windows software now as you can see I've already got this on my computer but I will provide a link in the description and I'll just show you what that website looks like ok so once you load up your web browser, you're going to go to www.ds4windows.com And once the page loads, just click on download now, you'll be taken to the download page at github.com And just download ds4windows.zip Ok, once that's downloaded, just go ahead and extract that to a folder on your desktop now once extracted you will be left with two files DS4 Look Data and DS4 Windows now you can see that we've got some extra files and folders this is just once we've run the software ok so once you load up DS4 Windows I'll actually just delete these profiles just so I can show you the installation Whoops. we'll just go ahead and delete them so run DS4 Windows and you will be prompted with this screen this will ask you where you want to install DS4 Windows to just select program folder and it will copy everything to the folder where the DS4 Windows.exe file is located so just go ahead and click on that and that will create your profiles and the XML documents that are associated with the software Next what you're going to get is some uh, a little window pop up and it will be this window. This will pop up automatically but if it doesn't just go ahead into settings and click on controller slash driver setup and click on install the DS4 driver. Now that will download, it's a really small file and then step 2 if you're on Windows 7 and below you need to install the 360 driver as well but if you if you've already used the 360 controller on the PC then you can just go ahead and skip step 2 now we're just waiting for this to finish installing, there we go and we just click on finish and then we're going to go to controllers and as you can see nothing is running now you can stop and start the service just by, just by pressing this little button down here and once you press that to stop it you can restart it by pressing the same button but it will have start instead of stop Okay next what you want to do is just close this window we don't need that and if we take our DS4 controller um, we're going to use two buttons we're going to use the share button which is on the top left hand side and we're going to use the middle P button and we're going to press the share button first and immediately followed by the P button we're going to press and hold both so one two until this light on the back starts flashing there we go and next we're going to go into settings and that's still still flashing click on devices and click on bluetooth and as you can see we can see a wireless controller is ready to pair just click on that and click pair now if you are prompted for a pair code just use 0000, zero, zero, zero. so that's four zeros and it should pair up nicely there we go and that's connected uh, and now as we can see we can see the ID in DS4 Windows we can see the battery life we can select the default profile create a new profile whatever 
and that's all connected and it's as simple as that. Now if you don't have a Bluetooth receiver on your PC what you're going to want to do is connect it by a micro USB cable. So we've got a micro USB cable here and we're just going to disconnect this from the Bluetooth. That's just removing that device now. And it should disappear from here within a minute or two. But if it doesn't disappear, just go to settings, click on disconnect from BT when stopping, and then just stop and restart the software. And we're going to turn off Bluetooth as well. Okay, so once the service is stopped, what we need to do is just go back into controllers. And it's really simple, just plug in the micro USB to your computer and plug it into your PS4 controller. Just like that. And there we go. And as we can see, the status has now changed to a USB icon. And it now says that battery is full. This is because we're using the USB. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and run a game and try and see if it works. So, what we have here is a SNES emulator, so a Super Nintendo emulator. You can go ahead and close DS4 Windows, it will run in the background. And it should be in your... Whoops, I've closed it completely. Alright, so we're going to restart that. And just go ahead and minimise it. And it will be in your taskbar on the bottom left, um, bottom right hand corner, um, you won't see mine because I'm using my secondary screen. Ok so we've got a SNES emulator and there we go. So we're going to go into game, config and I'm just going to set the keys now. So I'm not going to use the keyboard, I'm just going to use the controller. keys are now set. So next we're going to load a game. And we're going to play. Just going to play for a little bit just to see the responsiveness of the game. And as you can see I am using the controller to play. that Mario seems to be so addicted to. And as you can see, it's very responsive. Very good controller. And there you have it. So that is how you connect your DS4 controller to your Windows 10 PC and play retro games, or any game for that matter. Alright, I hope this video has been helpful. If you do have any comments or questions, leave them down below. I will add links to the downloads that you need. And remember to comment, rate and subscribe for future videos. Alright, thanks for watching and until next time, I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.